Hey everyone, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to script F Sharp with Godot 4. Now, the reason I'm making this video is that there have been some breaking changes uh, with the F Sharp and Godot's scripting setup between version three and four. And so the video I made last time on three is not gonna necessarily work for four. And so that's why I'm updating this video. So the way that we're gonna go about this video is first, we're gonna start with some requirements that you're gonna need to have already done to follow this tutorial successfully. Then we're going to go into the basic high level overview of how Godot 4 and F Sharp is going to work together. And then finally, we're going to dive uh, directly into the code to show you actually how this all works. At the end, I'm going to leave you off some next steps, including where to get all the source code I'm showing you in this video and how to get the entire Godot project files if you want to open it up and run it yourself. All right, first, let's start off with the requirements. So the first requirement you're going to need is Godot 4 um, and specifically the .NET version. Uh, why do we need this? Well, basically, F Sharp is going to be running via .NET and Godot only knows about C Sharp, which also runs on .NET. So we need .NET to, you know, run .NET. So you can get this version um, by just going to the Godot downloads page, which I've listed here. Uh, the URL might be a little bit different depending on your OS. And then just make sure that you pick this Godot engine.NET version when you go to the download. Now, I again, want to call out that this video is specifically for Godot 4 and there were breaking changes from three to four. And so if you are trying to use Godot 3 with F Sharp, uh, don't watch this video, go to this video, which I made previously, which tells you exactly how to get set up with that. Okay, so now that we've got Godot uh, downloaded and set up, now we need the .NET SDK, specifically .NET 6. Um, why do we need this? Well, again, we're using C Sharp to get to F Sharp, both of which are running on .NET, so we need .NET to run .NET. And we can get this by downloading it here off the .NET website. And again, uh, probably want .NET 6. This is the current version that Godot is using um, at time of making this video. You should probably double check to make sure it's still this version, but they usually upgrade pretty slowly. So probably .NET 6 for a while. Okay, so now that we've got the requirements out of the way, we can go into how we're gonna use Godot 4 um, and F Sharp together. Now, I wanted to start with a really high level view of how this is gonna work because I think it's gonna give a better idea of what the code I'm going to show you later on is doing and why it looks the way it looks. So basically, Godot doesn't know how to interop with F sharp. It just doesn't know how to do it. And so the way that we're going to get our Godot to F sharp interop is we basically need to daisy chain interop capabilities to get there. And so what this means for us is that Godot is going to interop directly with C sharp because it knows how to do that. And then we're going to use C sharp to interop with F sharp because it knows how to do that. And so this is how we're essentially getting our Godot to F sharp support. Now, because there is this layer of indirection, it does add a little bit of complexity to how we're actually going to craft programs this way, how we're actually going to set up our project to be able to work with this. And we'll go into some specifics later, but I did want to start off with diving in a little bit more high level so you can think about how you're setting this up um, to build whatever game you want to in the future. And so to drive this home, I really wanted to come to a more concrete architecture so you can think about how this might scale. And the architecture we're going to be using for this is hexagonal architecture, basically because I think it's a decent architecture for most things. Um, you know, it's not a total 3S simple scalable system for everything, but, you know, it gets an honorable mention because it works for most things. What I think it does well, though, is it allows us to kind of see how we can split up the core of our app from the rest of the things it needs to function and basically how we can handle this extra complexity of the C-sharp middleware. And so to apply this to kind of how we might think about our Godot 4 and F-sharp interop, basically we can think of Godot being this, you know, primary external inputs driver, whether this is like, you know, player inputs or maybe game lifecycle functions um, or whatever, you know, the game engine needs to do. This is kind of where all of those um, events, all those stimuli are being sourced from. And then we need this input port, right? Because we have to translate from C-sharp to F-sharp. But basically it can be this really lean place that this primary driver, these inputs are just being funneled into and that's C sharp. And then from this port, we can actually call into the app or domain logic that we're actually using, which hopefully is F sharp and this can consist of most of our logic. Um, I've seen so many you know, messages and comment threads uh, about how to actually build real things um, with this weird kind of daisy chaining. And so this is how I've been thinking about it. And so to make this like, you know, as simple and clear as, as I can, um, this is what the daisy chain is gonna look like. Godot is gonna be all of those sort of inputs um, that we're trying to handle. Uh, we're gonna use C Sharp is basically a really lean version of an input port. And then what it's gonna do is funnel those things into our actual app and domain logic, which hopefully is written mostly in F Sharp. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense from a high 
high level of how all this is gonna work together. Now I wanna dive into some specific code so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Now first, some housekeeping things. Um, first is all the source code I'm gonna show you today is available on my website at this blog post. So you can copy and paste it um, and refer back to it um, whenever you want. And then if you want the exact project files that I'm using in this video, you can get it here at my Hemi Labs code examples, which is available to Heminian supporters. You can find the code and learn more about that in the links provided here and below. Okay, so how do we actually implement, you know, this daisy chaining interop between Godot and f -sharp? Now, I think there's two patterns um, that seem to be popular and work decently well. Um, and I'm gonna talk about both of those and give you examples of both of them, as well as, you know, recommendations and a discussion on which one I think is better. So the first one um, is just pure inheritance. And if you have set up a project previously with Godot 3 and F-sharp, this is the one that you're probably using. A C-sharp is just a simple wrapper. It's inheriting from the F-sharp, and then you kind of just deal with the interop that way. Now, the problem is that between Godot 3 and Godot 4, uh, there was a small breaking change to the C-sharp API and how they're building classes, which I'll show you. Um, but this means that this inheritance doesn't work like it used to and actually makes it so much worse that I don't think I can recommend it anyway. And so the option I'm recommending is actually this option two, um, which is a library approach, which is closer to that kind of hexagonal architecture thing I was showing you, which is why I started with that. And so this is what I'm gonna be recommending, but I'll show you both and, and you can kind of see why. Okay, so enough of me talking high level, let's go into the demo. Um, and this is the order of things I'm going to try and demo in. So if you wanna refer back to this and then and jump into the demo, uh, that's, that's what we're gonna to try to do. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is my Godot project. Um, it's really, really simple. I tried to make it as lean as possible uh, to show you what's going on. So basically all it is is an empty scene um, and I've got three nodes. Each node is basically just a holder for a different script. So the first one is just simple print CS, which prints out um, from C sharp, just pure C sharp. Then we've got a simple node that has our C sharp inheritance holder, um, and it's internally gonna reference an F sharp script via inheritance to show you how that works. And then we've got another one that's a C sharp holder for our library version, um, which is again gonna reference uh, an F sharp script as if it's a library uh, to show you how that works. Um, so I'm gonna run this real fast just to kind of see what it, what you might expect. And here we see these outputs and this is all we're doing in them is just printing the console to show you that they're executing. Um, so you can kind of see how this works, how they're called um, and whether they you know, actually do get called, uh, which we'll get into in a second. So here we've got the simple print CS, then we've got the C sharp version of the inheritance holder. Then we've got the actual F sharp inheritance running here. Then we've got the C sharp library holder, and then we've got the FS library implementation here. Okay, so that is it. Now let's dive into code now that we know how this kind of works from a high level. Okay, so here I've got my VS code um, editor open. This is just in that folder I was showing you. Um, and just a few things to call out. So basically everything is just plopped into the, you know, root of that directory. I've got my CS project, I've got the solution here. Uh, both of these were generated by um, Godot. And then here's my simple print CS, my inheritance holder and my library holder. And then what I've got is this sub uh, directory here, which is holding my F sharp project. Now, the first thing I wanna show you is how we're actually connecting our C sharp project, which is this CS project from here and our uh, F-sharp project. So here we can see in our CS proj that we have a reference to um, our FS proj, and that's how we're actually connecting it. But if you just do this, um, your project might not work. And so there's two things that are really critical to make sure that they are compatible with. The first one is the target framework. Here we can see that we're targeting Net6, which is why I recommended Net6 for your .NET download. But again, if Godot's using a different version, that's the version you want. Um, and then the next one is this SDK. And what this is gonna allow us to do is one, make sure that these are compatible builds, but two, make sure that we actually have access to Godot um, functionality, libraries, et cetera, from F Sharp. And so uh, basically what you wanna do is just see whatever the CS proj that Godot created is, and then just copy that and make sure it's the same in your FS proj. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you is just that simple print CS um, that we ran. All it's doing is, you know, it's a Godot node. Um, we're just overriding the ready, which we see happens uh, just once when the node enters the scene. So it just runs once when we run our Godot project. And all it's doing is printing out to the console. So that's how we were getting that simple print CS, C Sharp running uh, console print. So this is the base of what you would do if you were just using C Sharp. Now let's look at how we are trying to accomplish this with F Sharp. 
So let's look at inheritance first, which is that option one. So here, um, we'll start with the F sharp first. We've got just a simple node. This is basically the exact same as, you know, uh, the, the C sharp version, but it's just written in F sharp. So here we're saying we're inheriting a node. Um, here we're overriding the ready function, and then we are printing this stuff out. But now if we look at what we actually had to do in C sharp to get this running, it looks a little weird, right? Um, here's that partial, uh, which is the breaking change from three to four. We're trying to inherit this node right here, the F sharp implementation of it, but we're actually overriding ready. And so what we're doing here is we're directly calling uh, a print function here, and then we are calling our base dot ready, which is like, okay, makes sense you're overriding, but why are you doing this? Why don't you just have a, you know, lean direct inheritance? And so let me show you what happens. And this is basically what we were trying to do in Godot 3, where inheritance was okay before the breaking change. So I'm gonna save this and go back to our Godot project and run it. Okay, so I just ran it and here's the output and we see that simple print CS is running and outputting here, but then we have library. Inheritance was right here, but now we're getting nothing executing. And so back in our code, it seems that this thing that was okay for Godot 3 is not okay anymore. And I don't know for sure, but we're pretty sure that it's due to this partial, whatever they're doing, code generation, whatever, um, is somehow breaking the link between the F sharp inherited uh, functionality and the C sharp class that is output and run by Godot. And so if we're trying to use Inher inheritance in Godot 4, we basically have to do this weird thing where we inherit and we're, but we're still not able to like inherit lifecycle or anything. So we basically still have to connect directly C sharp and then call directly our F sharp, which kind of makes inheritance like not useful. And so this is option one and why I'm not recommending it because it seems like a lot of steps for something we're not really getting any benefits out of. And so now let me show you option two which is using a library version. And so here we're doing basically the exact same thing as the working inheritance holder, but now we're not trying to make our F sharp inherit anything. F sharp is instead basically just a library. We just have a, a very simple module here. We've just have one function called like log. And then in our C sharp, we're just saying, hey, use C sharp, be the node. And then we'll just call into F sharp. And so far, this is the simplest method I've been able to find that seems to allow our daisy chaining from you know Godot to uh, F sharp for interop. So this is what I'm recommending and what I'm experimenting with for now. And that's how to get some Godot 4 and F sharp interop working. Uh, again, if you want the source code and project files, um, go to the links uh, below. And let me know if you have any questions or any suggestions for like a better way to do this daisy chaining. You know, as much as I love F sharp, the integrations just aren't always there. Um, so I'm always on the lookout for better ways to do this because it is a little bit clunky. So that's it for this one. Uh, this is where you can find me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.